New tonight at six, a break in a murder case more than four decades old. The Hernando County Sheriff's Office says they identified the remains of a woman abducted and murdered by a serial killer in 1980. Reporter Eric Waxler spoke with the victim's sister about this long and tragic ordeal. She didn't have a ch chance to start her life at all or do anything or accomplish anything. Margaret Johns waited more than 40 years to find out what happened to her little sister, Teresa. Teresa Fillingham was 17 and living in Tampa in 1980 when she disappeared. Her disappearance and my son's birth four years later and the subsequent disappearance of a kid two blocks from my house that stepped off their bus and was never heard from again prompted me to leave the state and not raise my son in Florida. It took decades, but Margaret found out last year her sister's remains were those found at a Spring Hill home where convicted serial killer Billy Mansfield Jr. once lived. How do I feel today? I'm glad it's over with, you know, it's been 42 years, so my family had to live with it. My dad would always, you know, ask me, you know, what do you think happened? Detective George Loigren handles cold cases for the Hernando County Sheriff's Office. He says the technology just didn't exist to identify Teresa when her remains were first discovered. You're going back to 1981, you couldn't spell DNA in 1981. He says not only is DNA technology now key in solving cases like this, but also advances in genealogy. It's sad in the sense that you're giving somebody the sad news that their loved one is deceased but it's uh, positive and happy for me because I can now, I'm instrumental in bringing her home, and bringing her sister home to her. Mansfield is in a California prison for killing five women. Investigators say they found four bodies buried at the family's home in Spring Hill, and they were back there looking for more evidence two years ago after Mansfield's brother was arrested on drug charges. Teresa's sister wants to thank the Hernando Sheriff's Office for never giving up and remind everyone to be careful. There is evil that lives out there, and... People get snatched all the time and kids and they take it a little bit more seriously now than they used to. The case is still not closed. One of the four women found at Mansfield's home still hasn't been identified, but investigators hope she will be very soon. In Hernando County, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.